and we are unmuted. All right, so we'll call it the order. We'll call the order of 631 of the Emergency Services Building Committee. Um, just for note, uh, Chief Snyder and President Knight are both at work still. So All right. Just got confirmation from them. And I got a text. The link on the Wellington calendar is neither clickable nor copyable. Yeah, right. I just found that out. I talked to Shannon today. Yeah. We're going to come up with a different plan. Someone have to just manually. Well, you know, when I I had a conversation with her this afternoon, I suggested just put the meeting ID and the passcode along with the link in on the agenda. Yes. Is that what we've done? It just requires too many click throughs and yeah. yeah. Or we can also just yeah. follow this down as a word document. So I mean. Who's going to amend it? Who cares? That would be great. No, the problem is copy that gets pushed out to the public is a photocopy that Ron uh, that um, Robin makes, uh, right, which kills any links. It's not, right, it's, it's now just blue writing. It's not it's a just a picture. Copy. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. We went through this with school building committee, and I had them stop doing it that way instead of doing the copying of the print. I had them keep it all electronic and put it out. You would think as they would do that as a, you as can a, make you can right. make PDFs keep the link. Yes, live. yes, yes. And, and that's what needs to be done. So the okay. people just click it and go. But the problem is Robin receives it for the record. She's got to put a stamp. She gives it to the writer to the right. He prints it out. He does it. Yes, but that's got to be on there. So and then that's copied into the right. All right. Because so, putting a stamp on it's manual. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Then you make a photocopy of that, and that's what right. goes in record, and that's what gets pushed so, out. So ah, there should be an electronic stamp for the version that gets put online. Okay. The manual stamp could be for the one for the record here, but the electronic yeah, one that goes online, line. you can use an electronic stamp. All right. Yeah, but is the copier set up to just send that PDF to Robin for the record? I mean, they do it down here. Or if that's, it, can, know, it, it can be made to work. It works might come on the other day. We've been yeah. yeah. having links. Yeah. Even when Susan went here, well, she didn't have Susan yet. We had, we had links we did back then. So that's not new technology. Okay. okay. Um, Meeting ID and task. Meeting ID and task. That's really all you need. Yep. Um, yeah, let me write that down. What do you need? But I won't remember. All right. Uh, approval of minutes. You know, we're not really taking minutes, but I. She we, was working. On it's it. all well. It's all. It's all video. It's all recorded. Do we really have to take written minutes when the entire yes. meeting is recorded? Yes. Yeah, the okay. meeting has to have minutes. All right. Fair enough. Right. We'll work on that. They can be very simple. If if the time is not there for detailed minutes. The legal requirement is that you document what voting members were in attendance. Okay. And you document the actions taken, including who voted for what. All right. All right. That's the bare minimum required. Okay. Obviously, we all want more than that because understanding the conversation is valuable when you look back historically. Sure. But if you're just going to try to meet the legal requirement, okay. Who was here? What topics were, were discussed? Were actions were taken on what yeah. topics? Right. And who voted what way? Okay. And who was here? Yes. 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 Yeah, I said that the first time. I'm a little sloppy with that. No. This we have. I have. No, we. No. I mean, we. It's the collective. Yes. Come on. Thank God we got them on video. Uh, yes, um, exactly. Present to speak. I don't see anybody here. Um, okay, new business. Uh, three bids for accessory dwelling units. And the uh, just a little before we, uh, I did present the monies that we had talked about last time to the board of selectmen, just as a, here's what we're going to be asking for, 75, 1,000, 1,000, which is what I said for, 75,000 for the eight accessory dwelling unit, 1,000 uh, for study we decided to, and 1,000 for the culvert, and they thought that was fine. Uh, what I'd like to do for now is, can we, I think we should just get three bids for an accessory drilling unit from whatever company you mentioned, Champion Homes. You had a line, Mike, on one, and, have, and then we got 
We yeah. finally got someone else to respond and they emailed the both of us. Okay, great. So do, do check out the link. The that's company. the one you were talking about also. So good. We yeah, have that's, just, we have two. He had reached out to them already. They weren't answering him. I reached out to them. Then all of a sudden they answered both of us. Okay. <laughs> but do we have two or so we technically have two. That's fine. I'll just say we couldn't we reached out to others and no one responded. So we have two. I'm happy for that. I haven't even looked at that one yet. That's fine. So I have a couple of concerns with it. One, it's a leasing price. It's only the leasing price. I did ask them to give us a price of purchase. Mm -hmm. Um it was 12, 7, something like that, to lease it for three months. Okay. So um it was, it was pretty expensive. Yeah, Four, seven or three months. <laughs> Yeah, I have it. Yes, I told him. I told him it's a minimum of three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I figured it quickly is going to be thirty thousand dollars a year. So, <laughs> and, and it was well. That comes out. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right. Well, yeah, maybe it's about the same. Yeah. But it's I still think the ones that, like plus yeah. hookups, plus everything, plus yeah. everything. So, right. it's, so it's, no, that's, that's more expensive. expensive. The one that this does come expensive. with furniture, yeah. bed, you know, beds. It's just, easy. Yeah. Um. I have to just give yeah, email it yesterday, but I haven't had time. To... All right, so if we have two, that's fine. Um, next Thursday is the next uh, uh, board finance meeting, and I just want to go there and kind of do the same thing I did with the board of selectmen. So here's what I'm going to be asking for at your next meeting. We have two bids. We're trying to get a third, but we're not getting any responses. What What do I have to do to get it right the first time? That's kind of, and, I, and in the past, most, they usually guide me in Say here's what you got to do if you want to get it. It doesn't mean that it's a yes, and I understand that, but the presentation should be solid. And we, we, in towns move forward, we're just one bid in the back. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, when it's a when it's something that's difficult to get three bids for, you sometimes have no choice. Yeah, right. Um, particularly if you try to get the bids. Yeah, yeah, um, it's a good faith attempt. Right. The um the other thing is I finally got the guy to answer about the setup. Um, oh, the the price that we didn't have, and we just kind of did a wing it yep. on the, the price. Local yeah. contractor or whatever. The local contractor, yeah. and he said to meet the uh, to use something three to five years. It's not the same setup as if they came in when your house burned, right? Because they can get away with a very sort of temporary installation when your house burns because it's going to be there a few months, right, or a year. But there's no way to get away with that when you're setting up for three to five years. Okay. So you have to do what is comparable to a foundation because you need not only bearing support, you need uplift restriction okay. to keep it from being sucked away in the next hurricane. Makes sense. Because they're they are attracted to mobile homes. <laughs> yeah, <it does> <laughs> um so uh the least complicated, least expensive way to do that is drive helical piles. Put a bunch of screw big screws in the ground okay. that the trailer is rested on, Makes sense. and then you attach the trailer to the helical screw, the helical right. foundation. Um, and so the guy said, well, "I'm just going to give you a wing it price, so I know that I don't come out too low." Yeah. And he says, "Figure on it's going to be at least twenty grand okay. for the hookup." So that seventy five, we were a little low. We need to probably figure eighty five or ninety. Okay. Um, Again, we don't have an exact quote. That's a that's right. order of magnitude price. That's right. Which means we probably, if we decide to move forward with making the official request, we what is did we get back the other price yet? Not a, not to purchase. Okay, was, that's um, fine. But yeah. I did get so I opened it up. It's uh, it would be twelve six forty. Uh, so twelve thousand six hundred forty dollars, um, excluding skirting due to delivery. It's seven thousand five hundred and ninety for a three month rent. So that twelve six forty was setting the trailer up the first three months and no skirting, no skirting. Right. Yeah, this other guy was complete skirting with insulation so that you don't yeah. breathe <coughs> your pipes in the, the winter. winter. It was a that's, four season setup. That's yeah, what we want. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So at least we. So I think at order of magnitude we need to figure one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand dollars. And that so his did not include the connection for water septic, or and this guy did include all those. And things. that and that would be an outright purchase. So we'll purchase in three and to five years, we could sell this probably correct for a significant discount. But at least you're getting discount, something back. Something, right. Probably at least half because yeah. and then they not half of a hundred, but half of the purchase price. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Well, okay. maybe one of the supplies class back as yeah. a, um, right. We're, we're leasing right. 
And really, considering its use, I would call that fairly light use. It's not like you had dogs and you know and all that other stuff in there. You've got just you know. It's only firefighters. Look at the firefighters. <laughs> what can go there? there? The neatest people on the planet. What can go there? <laughs> anyway, okay, good. So uh, I will uh, talk to them next. Their next meeting is next Thursday, and I will talk about what we just talked about, and then say, okay, we're gonna. Do a formal. What do I need to do to make it more formal? All I've ever done is done budgets with them. I've never asked them to, for one thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the answer will be. Uh, um, I mean, they may say we want you to put out an RFP and see if you get any other responses. And that's fine. Um, in which case, we just take basically what we already scratched out as right. what we wanted. Yeah. That we sent and out, and then we just put it out there and, send and say, please email send us the price by this day. Right, right. And we're going to get these same two, probably. probably. They seem that's to be the only two we've been able to find who will answer. Okay, yeah. that's good. And uh, yeah, and then I don't know. I spoke. Does the does the request come from with this committee, or would it come from the board of select? The request, the recommendation goes from this committee to, to the board, the board of selectmen because we're their subcommittee. Right. right, and the request for the money would actually come from the board of selectmen. Right. Okay. Correct. And they did the board of selectmen didn't seem to have a problem. So yes, and you're our conduit to the board of selectmen. Oh, yeah, I got it. So in quite a bureaucratic it. fashion, we take action on it, send it yes. to the board of selectmen. They take action on it, send it to the board of finance. They exactly. take action. The board of finance then sends it back to the selectmen to call a town meeting. So the people can take action on it. Excellent. We should be through that. that, that by September. Yeah. That money is in CIP. Under what do you know what fund? Was it capital reserve? Uh, I I don't know what it's a line item for this. Wasn't there a specific event? line item for that? There is a specific line item. I don't know which fund it's sitting in. Um we had this conversation the other night. Depends on what fund it's sitting in. Changes, changes what the process, what the process yes. of, but that would be that that would be resolved when you go to board of finance at their next, next meeting and say, Thursday. "Here's yeah. what we're planning on doing. What do you need from me?" Yeah. Hopefully, you all have the chance to debate the process again. Yeah. <laughs> we will. Right. Yeah. I'm just writing out what bucket is the money. I don't know. All right. Well, that's good. So uh, I think it's in zero four, and because it's in the because it's in CIP, I think it's going to follow the same process anyway. Because because it's in CIP, it has to go. Yeah, it has to follow that step. The board of selectmen become the requester. Board of finance then says, "Okay, we're going to ask the board of selectmen to call a town meeting. The town meeting would cover." All of that because it's already in the approved plan. So you only have to now approve the allocation allocation to okay. the vendor allocation. Right. right. All right. So along those lines, what I would like to do is I won't do it for the next Thursday meeting. But I want to sort of get a feel for how that goes. But what I like to do is go down to station 13, take some photos of what it looks like, and I would like to get those. I will get those blown up. I don't want to do handouts. I like it when people are looking up. And we're all looking at the exact same thing. And then I will present that to the Board of Finance, see how that flies. And then I do the same thing at the town meeting. So the town knows what, not just saying, yeah, this is what we want to do. No, this is what we want to do. This is why. Yeah. And I think that would help um, just add to the whole, you know, the spirit of communication. Just let people know what the hell's going on in, in a way that makes sense. And if you just do a handout, Everybody's looking at a different page and they're reading something. Or, but if you're there physically with big pictures saying, this is what happened and this is the, the remediation that we've come up with as a best scenario, as, you know, I think that will go a long way to getting to yes. So, um, should um, I to contact you to perfect yeah, to we, whatever you want to get in there? Okay, fine. I'll just pick some day when yeah. I'm available. Do you, do you have any pre pictures of the uh, mobile? Like yeah, well, yeah, like while, yeah, yeah, exactly. before, like, you know, when, before you did the demo, this the is where they had some of those. Holy, yeah, like, that's you know. a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. Were there any for the, from the remediation the first time? Yeah. yeah. Do you have those okay. digitally? Absolutely. Oh, well, yeah. I don't have to take 
I am, yeah. If you could find the, the, the best of the best. The worst. <laughs> and the best of the worst. Mm -hmm. And just, just send them to me digitally and I'll get them blown up. I'd like to have them like set up on easels or something. So everybody can look and then I can say, this is what you know, really make a presentation that, yeah. that I think people can get. It would be good now to have pictures of the current state. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Cool, all right, yeah. Um, and just a sample. Disclosure. One of the things when we started talking with, especially the paid staff, of this happening, um, one of their concerns is making sure that we do an air study in that building before they start putting their gear back in there. They're just they have some even, concerns even to store the gear because we were talking about like okay, if we got like a mobile home, they could still store like their bunker gear in there. Uh, that's, so that's what we about that's of it. what our plan originally there is. Um, they have some concerns, especially seeing if the ambulance sits in that bay for two days, it has to sit outside half the day to air out. Cause it smells like musty. It's it's the musty, yeah. Even now, huh? oh yeah, so, yeah, real. It's wet. It's how much? Wet. How much does something like that cost? Not much. We can handle it in our budget, but it's just something that's got to be done. It is. So I would think we should do that sooner than later because so if you end up with, is doing it. If yeah. you end up with a labor problem, and I'm not saying that. And, you know, I respect that. Right. And then, I'm not yeah. saying that in a negative way, but if you end up with a labor, a conflict right. with labor, right. that's why and all of a sudden we're asking yeah. to spend a hundred thousand dollars to put a trailer there, yeah. and your people aren't going to go there yeah. because they say we can't put a vehicle in that building. Uh -huh. We need to make sure Absolutely. we need to pivot. We need to pivot. I, yeah. that's, that's, this came up to me yesterday. That's why I'm. Is it is it still because there's water coming in or because it's just the humidity? Is there everything? I think it's like not there. climate controlled and like right. my right. basement. Humidity has been terrible. Like humidifier, you know, like but more like a there's, lack of active climate I think control. It's lack. I think it's a little bit of everything. It's hundred percent humidity right, right now. You know. Yeah, right. I think there's a lot of that. It's just right. A concern that was brought up, so I have to. No, 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 no. no, 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 no what I'm saying is, you got to make. The building's got to be made uh, livable, right? Basically, my, I mean, my fear is if we do an air study, it comes back with something. What is, you know? Well, well that might not make a great point. If no one's going to use it, then we, we have to pivot. We have to do something else. Well, so then I think the ambulance in it. Right. Okay. Well, well, at that point, then there's going to, have to be a discussion about where is the next logical place to put your staff, right. and can we fit a trailer there? Right. You know, can we fit a trailer down in South Wellington in front of that station on the ramp, maybe? And block one bay. Can we fit a trailer on the grass behind the building? Fit on the grass in the back of the building. Right. That might be <clears> that, that, that way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Septic systems. Are too, so. Yeah. Well, you'd be close enough to get the pipe in. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't know about your screw bottles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, that right. would take some handling. Yeah. 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 So have to be careful where the screws. But I, this all transpired last night. So, okay. and this morning, that's why I no, those are good points to make sure. Were there any other concerns? I think, I mean, like, really, that's it. Is there so we did have a couple of or... they, they want to be back together? That is number one, is <laughs> surprisingly. Um, as much as they, <laughs> um, they want to be back that's because they've been apart long <laughs> enough. <laughs> No, it's, logistically, it's a nightmare responding to calls. Yeah, it is a logistical nightmare. Of course, one's getting to a scene before the other. It's opening a lot of kids. Well, this is what Mansfield went through when they pulled the person out of Station right. 207 because having someone responding singly had a lot of challenges. Had a lot of challenges. So it's they, they're excited about that part, and they really have no problem going back to the main station. The fear is is a, because some of them did have some health issues. When all of this transpired in that building. So I think some of them are a little uh, gun shy. I can imagine. Absolutely. It's visible. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole reason we're absolutely right. Right. So, <laughs> I absolutely understand their concerns. Right. Okay. So, so you're going to so you're gonna pursue the air study so yeah. we know what's yeah, going I just, on there. I had to wait to see Roman. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's yeah. critical. We don't want to spend $100,000 and then find that we yeah. have a, a right. good reason not to use it. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, along the lines of what even if the air study comes back as safe enough to breathe, but it still stinks, what could be done to make could fans be put in? I think we need to either put fans humidify. I, I think it's definitely a fire. Get a dehumidifier. Humidifier. 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 Humidifier
Well, oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. There should be a dehumidifier in there now. Right. Yeah. 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 You get to the it fall, be, right? And then the fall. So right. Yeah. Building yeah. out, so that you don't get any more mold problems. That's right. right. That's right. Even if there wasn't a water leakage problem right. in this weather with that there wasn't structure, the same, right? there's gonna yeah, there's gonna be. But, we had there was a fire running up in there for months and months and months, and they all ran out. So. But then you open the bay door. And just yeah, yeah, and that's the problem is you open the door to get the handles out and back to square one. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so it, the last time it only took us a couple of weeks to get that the air study done. Um, okay. So, yeah, those are your air studies like the asbestos. Oh, yeah. That's pretty mm -hmm. quick. Yeah. yeah. Next day, you got to have. Yeah. So, I'm talking about it now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so air study, we got to think of how, how to dehumidify that regardless. That has to be part of the part of the turn the heat on. Yeah. Try and build it out. Yeah. So during the cold weather, it probably won't be as much of a problem. Yeah, you have uh, air, you need and, air. And then maybe think about I don't know if you know you have all the studs sitting there. And it all hold the moisture, clean the stuff oh, out. Get, get, get the wood out of there. Get anything. Yeah, get get out wood out of there. Get anything that moisture. retains moisture. If you're not, you're not going to use it anyway. No. Good point. Yeah. So anything that's retaining moisture should be got moved. Is that possible? Sure. No, that is Anything's possible. Take a practice chain. I'll take a big enough check. I can check. We can next time you can move it. Just chain it before you leave. <laughs> That was last time I pulled the tree out of the middle of the road next to the other station. Okay, so three bids. I'm going to talk to Board of Finance next week. And then so we uh, hopefully by the week after, the, by the next Board of Finance meeting, I will have a, a uh, reasonable uh, public presentation to put forward. Um, and I'll work with everybody on proper language, historical <laughs> reference and photos. And actually, maybe I could practice at one of these meetings to make sure it makes sense. So that'd be good. All right, cool. Um, and we already kind of covered everything else. First notice of the monies to the BOS, the press release, public reveal, and President Speak and XBO, which Board of Finance meeting. I'm going to turn the floor to Ralph Toulis, and he's going to talk about. Oh, I also, uh, another thing, um, they sent letters, they sent phone requests to Nuccio and, and Gordon to get the land. Um, no, uh, I didn't read the letter, I didn't care, I, I think Mike and I both made comments back. Or, yeah, 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 I didn't, I didn't, they, Pete said it was done and he liked it, I said, send it, I don't see it, it's not going to add anything to value. So, uh, can I ask one more question before you move on? Yeah, yeah, about the. Is there any discussion with the building official or zoning, anything like that, or any other requirements they're going to want about that building? Well, I just walked in the, the zoning guy, just walked in the bathroom. It's not too much. What, you talking about the temporary? Yeah. Well, I, I think ZBA would, would uh, be very easy to move yeah. in the new room. Okay. And uh, the building official would just be following code after that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I wasn't worried about the building official yeah, yeah, the yeah. zoning. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, we did measure out a spot on the plot or on the property that it seems would a bit to work with. The, okay. We'll need some more of the public works, but. All right. Is that right? No. What? Measuring yeah. the biggest um, space to get out. <clears throat> on the south, south side, Miss. On the south side still? Yes. Okay, so we hey, Mike, we're gonna be in a big hurt if we try to put that building at the fire station. We're gonna go through ZBA. What building in which temporary <laughs> temporary basically, basically a mobile home at 426 River Road if we need to for housing the firefighters. There's already I mean, there's already one there. No, get the new one. Well it's a camper trailer. <clears throat> yes. Probably in zoning world the same thing. Yeah, I mean we didn't we didn't uh, permit what was there because it's temporary. It was needed for housing. It doesn't fundamentally change the use of the property. Um, and so that's how we looked at it. They put it out because it was needed. 
in order to get all the I's dotted and T's crossed, probably go to ZBA, ask for a special exception to put a dwelling unit there for three to five years. Well, so yes. I don't think so the way I looked at it before is that it's not a dwelling unit because no one's dwelling there. They're they're doing the same thing they're doing in the building now, they're just doing it in a different place. I really like what they do. Well, it's more complicated if we call it a dwelling unit because yeah. then we have to yeah, the two primary that's uses true. and that's right. Yeah. It isn't a dwelling unit, it's a it's dormitory at best. Right. Yeah. Okay, they're working. Right. So thank you. Yeah, they're not. So I wouldn't see it being anything different. We would want to make sure it was located in an appropriate place, but yeah, yeah, yeah. right. It's not going to be there forever. And I don't know. Yeah. Answer your question, Alex. Oh, seems to be a problem yeah. with the building. We told we the zoning a long time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Mike. No worries. All right. Moving on now. So we, we we got 100 feet of that pipe mapped on the surface. Okay. Can it be seen? Did, did, did you? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, I, I you marked it well on the surface, so any of us can go down and see. Documented it. well. It's not going to get missed. Alex could confirm that. I think. Uh -huh. Cool. Um, yeah, thanks to uh, Admiral Sepik. Okay. We took his transmitter, taped it to my robot, ah. sent oh. it in 100 feet. Yeah. So every 25 feet, we got an orange. Okay. Mark on the ground. It ends about in the middle of trash. That's where I figured where your hundred feet would end. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm feet. What did you come to? You ran out of ran out of tape space. measure to pull it back if I had to. Okay. Because I got stuck a couple times. So yeah, that I have a I have a 350, I think, in my suburban, but that doesn't help you now because you already did it. Wow. Well, I, we've got the the, yeah. the trajectory line trajectory on the back. surface now. Okay. We just got to find the catch basin. So what I would do is take a good guess, go 30 feet from that 100-foot mark. And dig That's up. crazy. There's got to be a photo somewhere. I have looked through everything that I can find. Did you look through those photo albums that I brought you? I was wondering if the car washes, if you could see where the catch basin no, was. No, we're doing the car now. washes. The it's pictures hard. are in front of the bays, not oh, right, right. right. Yeah. What if some of the old aerials might show it? Oh, where would yeah. those be? Yukon Magic. Yukon Magic. Yeah. Yukon has all the aerials for the whole state, all the way back to like 1938 or yeah, something like that. Or in some cases, yeah. 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 Are you looking at those? Or where you? You go. You Google search Yukon Magic Map Database or something like that. It'll take yeah. you to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I can't believe I didn't think of that. So yeah, right. Oh, that again. And Troy said he was still, I don't think you didn't, I don't think you did anything to, to stop his efforts. No. Troy said um, he was going to contact Putnam. Putnam has water company, has their, their water pollution control authority has got this new piece of equipment yeah, right. for pipeline inspections. Yeah. Um, the, the, they don't know how to use it yet because it's brand new. <laughs> so they're still exploring. Right. Right. So they this is a great like, this is a great opportunity for that. Yeah. For that yeah. Yes, right. right. Um, so it's still possible that they, they may come down and, and go a little farther. Otherwise, we can just dig a couple holes and see what we find. Yeah. Um, We've got the alignment. We can, we can right. extend that. But whatever we, we want to do, uh, Troy seems on board. He's, yeah. he's, he's in our corner. But if we do that, if we find the end of it, and it just came to mind tonight, is why not trench the bottom of the hill behind the firehouse? And let's see how much groundwater we're actually dealing with there. Yeah, do a, a linear test bed. Yeah. About the length of the firehouse connecting to the end of the fire. <laughs> Wait. I'm not following. No, I'm right. serious. But well, I'm you serious. Open it out, I don't know what you're you open that up, you pitch it to the pipe. Basically, if you open the ground, you're gonna you're gonna drop the water level some there, you drain it. Right. If but you can keep it draining. My my goal is to see how much <laughs> the water is water that's coming out of the bottom of that hill that we don't see now because it's all underground. Right. And this would help identify that. But still, if you dig a hole there, it's two, right? If you put it in, you get it with the water to drain into all. Can always pump that too. They keep the water level down. I mean, 
But his I, weight is deep water to ground. Yeah. I think we could work with Troy and, and do some exploratory linear. Oh, but yeah, if you just put a linear, linear drain and, and it will open it up and it will run. It won't be building up into the firehouse. Correct. So, so you can relieve it. Be a hazard depending on how deep it is. But <laughs> well, <laughs> but, but really, you probably don't have to go that deep. If it's right there, when you hit the surface, if you can run it off. Yeah. I don't know what. Uh, how deep that um, we didn't really pay attention to depth on the pipe when we were tracing it. I think at one point we, it was down nine feet from the surface. Yeah, so that's probably fine. But we didn't really trace that. And then I did uh, I, I did a sketch for um, Peter to work with Tammy and Jeff Gordon. Can you see this? I saw you passing it around. Well, they're, they're meeting tonight, I heard, right? Yeah, some say they're 1 30. 1 30. Okay. The hilltops? Yeah. What is this? The site? This is the highway line, the yeah. taking line as it currently exists. Okay. So we could pick up perhaps an acre. Yeah. And if we were to realign um, trash, as this sketch suggests, um, well, that's your person. Water will be right to be we grab trash. It leaves a lot of possibilities for that site without worrying about whether or not we're going to be zoning restrictions for a new building or whatever. But who knows how long it's going to take the state to make a decision? Right, that could be a while. Yeah, but regardless, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt anything. It wouldn't. It wouldn't if they did just give it to, to, to the town, it wouldn't hinder our efforts at all. So but that's good. Well, if they don't, it's going to create issues. Mm, yeah. All right. Because there isn't much we can do other than, I think we barely have the setback, front yard setback on okay. the building as it sits. As it sits down. Um, all right. What's the next steps on the call? Should we? Should I ask Troy to start digging? Why don't we get one call tomorrow? I'm trying to look at the aerials. I'm hoping to get an aerial right now while we're here. I'm on the Yukon Magic site right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Troy tomorrow. Friday, are they open? Oh, public works? They don't yeah, they do the five day work. They work five days. Yeah, I thought they did. All right. I thought it was summer hours, right? They do Monday through Thursday. Yeah, oh, that's right. right. They do. They do every two hours. Six to four thirty. It's like still forty, but yeah. it's just four times. Well, it's not tomorrow. Yeah. Change that much. So yeah, we can talk to them, and I know Peter's on board with it because I, Peter, Troy, I had a face to face upstairs, so I don't think there's any there was only conflicts there. So. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's that. So. If you talk to him, you'll talk to him then about the, the, the testing you want to do in the back of the building. Well, and you don't have any problem we'll with that? There's no issues. No, we're in terms of public the works once this for around back there. We just got to be careful. There's the power line going up the hill to the uh, cell tower. Okay. Do you yeah, hold that you're wearing it out in the parking lot on the ground? Yeah. Oh, you can see it. Oh, you can see it. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's only underground that far. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's, that's not a 411 call. Yeah. Yeah. Or a no, I might want to be. Well, technically, it is. Yeah, we'll yeah. 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 call them anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay, call them. Right. It's free. Yeah. Before they get free, they're coming on. It's free. Yeah. Before he digs anything, it's the law. It's the law. That's right. Yeah. yeah, before he digs anything, he's all. Okay, all yeah. so will Troy call or? Yep. All right. Yeah, whoever has yeah. the Remind him to call. Okay. Um. <laughs> 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 and be what it is. Okay. I, I had to do that when I put the for sale sign on your own property. Really? Just because I wanted to put three posts in the ground, and I've known the property since forever, and I know there's nothing there, but I still have to do it. Oh. It's the law. It's rapidly. Well, but there's other. It's other circumstances that you're just <laughs> All right. Other than that. Other than that. 
I don't think I have anything new. Okay. Uh, any questions about that? So we can uh, move forward on uh, getting Troy involved and just see what we can do to change that water table. And uh, maybe that will help some of the issues. You're going to move forward on the air test. On the air test. Yep. And uh, who does the air test? Um, we use Service Master by Maple. Okay. They're really good. Um, most most cleanup companies like Serve Pro or Service Master or something like that would not those. Would they have any insight on ways to reduce the humidity levels? Of them? Oh, they have a lot of ways, but it costs a lot. Of yeah, yeah. But I mean, do they have any ways? That they have? That we didn't already discuss. No. Okay. A couple of cans of damper in my life. Big cans of damper. Fifty-five gallon drum. I don't know what the cost of the larger to you if I saw They rent them by, I think, the day or the week, so they'd be more than happy to rent them. Yeah. 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 That's the best job. They're very expensive. Yeah. But I mean, are there any simple solutions like those floor drying fans? I mean, cut a hole in the side of the building at this point. What difference does it make? I mean, put, put a screen over it. I'm just, I'm just throwing something out there to, yeah. to manage it. For the time I, we have the, up, the ceiling fans are all running. Okay. Uh, we really don't leave the windows open just because of the people walking by. Right. But um, window air conditioners, none, none of that's going to help. Space. 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 Yeah. But, yeah. but, yeah. but, yeah. but it's, it's more than what's happening right now. You could probably put a portable air conditioner in there. That's that's that. it's, it's still more than what's happening now. So we could rehang our ductless splits. <laughs> no, those are getting used. Uh, we got to talk about that after. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It's all fine. It's all fine. So, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, um, just I know the uh, casual conversation is valuable, but could you tell us where we are on the actual agenda? Well, where we are on the actual agenda is we're all done with new business. The two new things were just, ah, was three right. bids for ADU. We talked about that. Or two bids. Uh, we talked about update on culvert inspections. And we talked about that. I, I covered the uh, monies to the BOS uh, press release and doesn't speak in next uh, board of finance. Old business was just, uh, we're still, it's, it's an ongoing analysis of the stations and um with me getting a focus on the ADU or maybe we should stop calling it that because yes. it's dwelling has a negative context in this regard. And that's it. Temporary quarters. quarters. Temporary quarters. Mm -hmm. Temporary crew quarters. Temporary crew yes. quarters. I like that then. And you already conferred with the building. There we go. <laughs> that covered. There it worked well. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where we are, and we don't have any. I didn't have any correspondence that was uh, relevant, and there's nobody present to speak because they probably didn't log in. And that's so. Then next meeting is 25 July. Action items were uh, include the meeting ID and password in a different way. We'll talk to Shannon about that. The air study and dehumidification, and uh, then. Uh, Drainage at, at 13. Mike, did you find anything there? 70s vintage map might show something. Still, so I looked at 86 and 90, and it's not clear enough when you zoom in. It's just pixelated. Oh, it just, yeah. Um, it goes crazy. But let's go, let's go back here uh, to, we had some action items from the last meeting. I think couple different people we were Alex and I were pursuing more prices right we were going to be contacting the guy uh, survey. you were going to get the information from Mike D'Amato for yeah. them to do have their um have his uh GIS person try to do the data extrapolation so we could talk about that at this meeting instead of hiring the $30,000 oh, outside vendor um, did that yeah all I did was Talk to the board of selectmen about were they were they okay with that? But I haven't got so okay. we were going to have we were we were going to have information for this meeting to know what they could do and oh, but I did not do that. All I did was find out if they were okay spending the money. That's the part I got. 
Gotcha. Um, but Mike, were you saying last time that was my question was for like any like grants or something else you were mentioning that it's a requirement to have a location they, study? The architects that we talked to and the people from the, um, and I think maybe it might have been Ralph that echoed this also, that part of the process to get either shovel-ready funds or um, bond, um, state bond commission right. money was that you were going to have to have an official um, location, some kind of location study. That you were going to have to justify where you were spending the money. I don't remember what the exact terminology was. Would this um, take that requirement or no? Well, I I think from what it sounded like, it was going to do a lot of the work that we were, because it was going to do the data side of it of saying, okay, here's our historical information. We can now plot our historical information on a map and see where the intensity is, what's mm -hmm. the distance to that intensity or whatever. What would so have, that, that was like two thirds of the work that the study people would do in the proposals that we were talking about, the consultants. Difference being the other third is where their knowledge of the fire service would be interjected into as far as how do we interpret this data further? What does it mean for the future? What are the trends in the fire service? You know, all that stuff right. that's subject matter specific to fire service. But it sounded like Mike's people could do the initial data analysis part and create results from the data. I thought you had mentioned when you were initially like talking, teaching us or telling about the location studies that it was kind of a set price and that like if even if we do this pre-work and present it to this location study consultancy, is the price still going to be the same? Because like well, then I think price, we like, would, this is how much we charge. No we would how much fall out is. of that standard formula, and we would have to put out an RFP and say, "Are you willing to use the data we have already and just do the last third of the project, which is, is that know, an analyze our is that data an and present the fire service related information?" I don't know. We could call those companies. Are happy to talk to you. We can call. It might be worth. I mean, like a couple of those like, companies okay, and ask if they're though, willing to use that data yeah, and, and just do that second portion of it. It seems like that might, like, I don't Because it might be a way to save us a lot of money, but if you're- If you're spending money twice then- If your concern is they're going to say, no, we have to do our own data interpretation, so we right. still want the $30,000. Or oh, we'll take the data, money. but we're still going to charge the same price as right. we yeah. charge, and like, we're going to doing this tank well, separately. Would, would the first study be sufficient enough? Right. He thinks probably not. Well, the good well, news was it was only going to cost us $1,000, my thought, right? Right. right. That's, That's what I'm saying. Well, I think what I'll do is I, I just wrote my sub set of Instead of talking to Mike Tomato, I think I'll call his company yeah. and go through his company. Okay. And, and then and rather than, than try to do it through this to a sort of a sub network. You might just want to get hello. Um, Hi, can we help you? Zoning? Zoning? Zoning Board of Appeals? I don't think it's here. I don't know where it is. Mike's here, so is there a Oh, Mike, yeah. Uh, Golden Board might be upstairs, but why would you? We just could have him as Mike. He's yeah, still in there, right? Uh, now. Shout into that window there. They might. There he is. Are you guys going to be done at 730? Or should we? I don't know. Do we have a lot to talk about? No. I don't know. You've got the I mean, I, I, To me, I was. I, I think that. I we, think we can be done by 730. I think we can be done by 730. We're gonna be done by seven thirty. Have a seat. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Hang around. I think we well, filed our annual meeting calendar before you guys brought it. You, you, you didn't exist. But I think. Well, uh, I think we weren't concerned at all about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did not even know that until this moment. That's right. We. This is their fourth well, time meeting. In five CBA years. meets so rarely. I know. Then why know. would we even the, think about it? This is uh, a meeting about uh, where we're we're looking at uh, uh, the the firehouse. This is one of the emergency services buildings, yeah. and uh, we're we're the team that's been tasked with analyzing those needs and deciding what. Yeah, so we're asking you personally for more money <laughs> at the end of this day. Oh, I love local government. <laughs> it's all good. That's what you're sitting at. Now. So all right, yeah. So I'm gonna. I'll actually call. I think. I think he says Taish. 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 So if I I'll might suggest you just um, ask him for a brief description of what it was he was talking about. Yes. So they, so they know. <laughs> yeah. 
what answer you're looking for. Yeah. Because I think he he spoke of a specific series of thoughts and um well that they Tice might say what is he talking about but is it Tice just him and one of the guys I don't know I think it's a pretty small couple for ownership yes I think you're right yeah but like the staffing as well but that was my memory um that's on me so just one quick thought and Mike you might be able to chime in on this one um if if, if we float a bond on our own as a town of Lincoln, are we still going to have to get into uh, a thirty thousand dollars study, or is that necessary when you're chasing grant money? So the way it was explained, when Willington Hill met with architects and got the initial plan that Willington Hill has currently for twenty five old farms, when interviewing, because they Willington Hill put out multiple, put out a uh, scope of work mm -hmm. and got, I think, responses from seven different companies. Some only want to do design, some only want to do construction, some want to do it all as one, some want to do design build. There were a variety of responses. Sure. Willington Hill also paid um, QAM who's been doing work for the town and school building committee and now the school work on um, paid QA and M to do an initial planning exercise as well. And in all of those conversations, they said, if you move forward and you're seeking bonding from the state or you're seeking grant money in of the million requirements they have is going to be the, the early design work has to have a justification for why you want to spend the money where you want to spend it. And that, so it's a standard part of the design process to do a location study. Well, when we did the library, we, we got it bonded, it was bonded. We didn't need, but if we got it, but we got grant money, we applied for a grant for the state and they came back and they said they had no money. So then we still went ahead and had went to design because they had certain requirements you have to meet, you know, size wise, sure. projection, all this. And then uh, they came back to us after we had the design made and said, oh, we have money available now. So we applied for the money and I don't know how they did it, but they tweaked it so it worked and we got the money. So the money came in, but we now study wise, yeah, probably to get, I don't know, we didn't have any study done, but we got the grant money from them. It was whatever was available from the state. I suppose it depends on who's sitting on those grant books. Oh, you, know, you got to have it. Well, yeah. well, what I've heard now, like my neighbor, he's in the health department, the water side, and they say, well, and they give out money. Most of them, they call them for studies. They want, Design build, they want to see it all before you get to that point. But just that, if you're looking for grant money, you're probably going to want to study some kind of stuff. But there, I don't know. It's asking other people, right? Well, that's only thousand dollars. Yeah, right. I mean, start with that. If they say it's not good enough, then you know what you got to do. <laughs> but then you got to and may see if there's any money available. Yeah. Well, and that is. That would be part of the purpose of this committee too, to yeah. look at the results of that and say, does this give us enough? Right. I mean, does, of, uh, does this tell us enough information to make decisions based on? That's right. Do we need more information? Because in the end, our job is to make reasonable recommendations up the chain. There's an awful lot of very intelligent firefighters on this committee that could probably interpret that data quite well for emergency services staff, not just firefighters. All right. Is there anything else that needs to be discussed? We got some action items, some things, things work that can be done. Well, um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned at seven twenty. Thank you for being here. We are still recording. Nice to, nice to have some. Just we made it up by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.